hi and welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, I'm Jennifer and this is Kate and today we are talking weddings because May and June are the height of the wedding season and we have a family wedding coming up very soon so weddings are heavily on our minds. And today we wanted to talk in particular about the wedding ring of Mary and Joseph which probably isn't on a lot of people's radar but we have done some research and greatly enjoyed learning about it. And it's interesting to think whether or not Mary actually had a wedding ring, what it would have looked like, and where is it now? So it's really interesting and fascinating to think that the ring that Joseph gave to Mary is still in existence today, and it does raise a lot of questions. The first thing I thought of was, you know, were wedding rings even a thing back then? But it turns out that the tradition of giving wedding rings in a ceremony goes all the way back to ancient Babylon. So rings have been around for a long time and there's no reason to think that Mary and Joseph didn't have a ring of their own, especially since rings are still part of traditional Jewish wedding ceremonies today. And their ring is also pretty unique. For starters, it actually has a name, which is interesting because most rings don't have an official title. Theirs is called the Santo Anello, which translates into English as the Holy Ring. So the second question we thought about was, if that ring is still around today, where is it? And the answer is, it is in Perugia, Italy, in the Cathedral of San Lorenzo, which is about 14 miles away from the town of Assisi of St. Francis fame. So the church there keeps it in a beautiful reliquary and it hangs suspended from a silver crown. And another interesting question is, what does it look like? And we'll put a picture on the screen, but it's made of a smooth iridescent quartz and it can look amber or yellow or milky white depending on the light. And it's also bigger and thicker than what we normally think of as a wedding ring, but that actually makes sense because in Jewish wedding ceremonies, the ring is traditionally put on the bride's right index finger and not the traditional ring finger. Next question, if this ring is still around, it still exists, can we go and see it? And the answer is yes, we can, but not all the time. It's only on display once a year on July 31st, but at that time you can take your own wedding ring and touch it to the actual wedding ring of Joseph and Mary, which is really cool. But because of COVID, we're not really sure when the ring will be on display again, but when it does go back on public display, that would be a very fun pilgrimage to make. And question five is, where does the ring come from? Well, the ring first popped up in history in an account from the 11th century that says the ring was in the possession of a Jewish family for a very, very long time until the Blessed Mother appeared to a member of that family, a dealer in precious stones, and told him to give the ring to an Italian goldsmith in the town of Chusi, which he did. But the goldsmith was not really on board with the whole idea of this is really the ring of Joseph and Mary, so he had his doubts until he had a vision in which his young son, who had recently passed away, appeared to him and said, Dad, guess what? This really is the wedding ring of Joseph and Mary. So that got the goldsmith's attention and he wound up donating the ring to a church in Chusey where it stayed for several years until 1473 when it made its way to Perugia at last and it's been there ever since. And then in 1821, the Catholic visionary Anne Emmerich saw the ring in a private revelation. And she was able to describe it, but she didn't know where it was. She only said that it was in a beautiful church behind many locks. A few years after Anne Emmerich died, people decided that, hey, she described the ring, it exists, so we are going to go find it. So people went looking for it and they found it in the church in Perugia and it was exactly as Blessed Catherine had described it. And the people of Perugia said, well, yeah, we've had the ring all along. What? That's not news for us. You didn't know about it? Oh, well, sorry. It was a case of the ring being hidden in plain sight. And in an aside in her writing, Blessed Catherine also describes the actual wedding itself of Mary and Joseph. And she goes into a ton of detail, even all the way down to describing what Mary and Joseph wore. So that's very interesting to read. And we'll link that down below if you are interested in reading her descriptions. She even drew pictures of them and what their wedding garb looked like. So that is really interesting. So you might at this point very well wonder, 
How do we know that this really is their wedding ring? Why should we believe all the different stories? Well, first off, the Catholic Church does not say that we have to believe in private revelation. So if you want to remain skeptical about that, that's totally fine. But historians have done research on it in 1949 and 1950, and they did confirm that it is a man's signet ring that dates back to the first century. And then in 2005, Mishka Tosti wrote a book on other findings that agreed with the findings from the first investigation. So we'll have his book linked below. Okay, so aside from tradition and the revelations of Blessed Anne Emmerich, there is no way to prove 100% that this is the actual ring that Joseph gave to Mary. On the other hand, there's no way to prove 100% that it's not their ring. So it is fun to think about, and in any case, it is a good reminder that there was a betrothal ring that Joseph did give Mary at the time, and that ring links us to their beautiful marriage and the beautiful home and family that they provided for Jesus. And we do know that wedding rings have a very deep meaning. The circle is a symbol of infinity and reminds us that God's love for all of us is eternal and never ending. So there you have it. That is the story of the Santo Anello, the wedding ring of Joseph and Mary. And now it's time for us to go get ready for that wedding that we're going to soon. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.